So I'm after some garlic oil. I've been looking everywhere we've gone now. How many countries have we been in now? Six, seven? About five, six, something like that. I think it's something like that. We can't find garlic oil anywhere. I would have thought it would either. find it in Italy. I know, it's crazy, isn't it, really? You can't get them. No. Because I like to do his own garlic bread, don't we? But yeah. I can't find any. Even um, easy garlic, you know, the paste. Can't find that anywhere. I thought we got rid of the depressing bells. I don't know what it means, do you? It means come insulting. to church and pray. You probably are insulting half of the town. Depressing. But I must admit, on the way from Bolzano all the way down here, we must have seen a church in every village. Every little bit, yeah. You they thought all they had the a same. franchise, didn't you? They all look the same, didn't they? You don't get McDonald's here, you get churches. Mm. Look at these trains, I'm going to get some of them. What are they? Louise Vuittons. Louise Vuittons? It's Louis Vuitton. <gasps> 7,000 pounds? No, it's 70 euros, Lisa. 70? Is it 70 or 7,000? No, 7,000, no. The night's at top of the way. Oh my god. I've seen better in TK Max. TK Max. On sale rail. 7,000 now. People must buy them. And my thing is, we're parked up for free, aren't we? Down the, down the car park, just yeah. down the way. It's crazy, isn't it? I dread to think what they're all, spe they're all um, charging to stay in these hotels and B&Bs. Well, uh, I don't know. It'll be a lot, though, won't it? It'll be triple, triple when the um, Olympics come back, though, won't it? You can tell there's money here, isn't it? I like finding little things like this, though. It's, it's yeah. interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it shows you how the other half lived, doesn't it? No one ever <laughs> comes here on holiday, do they, do they? So, yeah. at least well, we can we, get... Not people that we know, but put in the comments if you've been here, if you've been skiing and stuff. Obviously, people were seeing people last night with skis around. About it yeah, stuff, yeah, so a lot of skiing people. Let us know, see, what, you know, if you like coming here, let us know. Look at this car, look at these skis and stuff here, Lisa, and that carbon fibre helmet. I could do with that helmet when I go on my scooter, can't I? Mark, you could do with that walking around every everyday life. That would save me head a bit, wouldn't it? Save me worrying about you falling all the time. We might have cracked it, we might have found somewhere where we can afford, it looks like there's a market on across the road. <sighs> Cheaper, will it? <laughs> 7,000 7, euros from trainers. 7,000? I can't get over that. And I've just found out that the, the Cortina is known as the Queen of the Dollar Marts. Yeah. It does say it's expensive to be here, but not as expensive as some other places. Cracker. I won't be going to them places then. Because <laughs> I think this is very expensive here. Oh, there's a stall there with a chicken on top of it, Mark. Right. Let's go and investigate. Well, I've definitely definitely got to say it and, and I know we get quite a lot of people comment about when we say about price of things but we I've never been anywhere so expensive even this market which it just looks like a normal everyday. it is a market a normal day market we could be on Benidorm market couldn't we for you know it's it's the same sort of how much style. was two oranges Mark two oranges five euros and there's people coming here with bags, bags full of full stuff, of stuff. And, and we must be paying hundreds of euros for a bag of fruit and veg strawberries seven euro pun it I, I've it's never mental, seen a, isn't it? Like back there, like cheap, cheap woodies and stuff back there, you might, you can't see, oh, you just took the price down actually. Now, eight, 18, 19, euro, eight, things for a body warmer, 18 euros for a body warmer. Probably yeah, but big. this thing behind us here, you know the way you go rummaging through stuff? You can see it, can't you? We've done it at Benidorm, haven't we? They're like three, five euro. Yeah, yeah. 45, 65 euro. Yeah. I'm, I'm never I don't get it. Out. I don't get it. Now we get a lot of comments. Like Mark says we get a lot of comments saying stop whinging about prices. But it's Sorry, ridiculous. this is absolutely. It, it's just. On the, I mean, come on, two oranges, five euros. I mean, yeah. you're down the road. I mean, I've so already said that there'll be no littles around here, but you can get a bag full for for less than that, can't you? I tell you what, I'd love to open a prime market because it'd do so well. well I'd love to have oh. a market stall. They nip to fill up at, I mean, at Aldi or Lidl or something down the road. You make a fortune, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, you would. But they're just buying it. But it's probably because they're used to it, you know. Oh well. It's all down to cost of living and stuff. And well, in, in England, the UK, it's not very good at it. I dread to think so. what the wages they get here. They must be on loads of money. You loads see, many money. many years ago, things like you go to Spain and we, it, we'd be expensive. Now we're about the same at home now. You're Spain when you're buying stuff, but it used to be you go to Spain, everything were half price. I tell you what, there's a job advertised down there in a little shop, and you could do a summer summer's work here, couldn't you? Just mm. work for the summer. I bet you make a fortune. Because the wages yeah. must be sky high. I don't know what the taxes are and stuff, but it's definitely, uh, I've never been anywhere. It's expensive, but it's nice to have a look around nonetheless. I think it's quite funny, surprise. We're just going around going, how much? How uh, much? And now we're looking for a Chinese. I don't think I'll get Not a anything. chance. We were going to get a chicken from the chicken man, but I don't even ask how much it is. I don't know. <laughs> There's no price, is there? There's no prices anyway. Everyone's just paying it regardless. Crazy. I've never felt so poor in my life. I dread to think what you found now. Oh, gookie, Lisa, gookie bag. It's not gookie, it's Gucci. Gookie. How much? Uh, 2,200. Oh, 
bargain. What a steal. For that, 2,200. Only thing it is, is it'll get stolen. Look at them with bamboo handles. They're, oh, they're only 3,400, Mark. Can you get more in red and black? I'll tell you what, Mark. I could just sit here and murder a Greg's. Yeah, I must admit, we're missing, missing English us. food. We're just saying up there, chicken man on market. I'm missing market. the prices. I'm not on about the food. <laughs> chicken man on market smelled like oh, something like a carvery, didn't it? It smelled like a Sunday dinner, roast dinner. Yeah, so that's the only trouble, ain't we? Come abroad, as I'm sure you'll all say. Well, when we get back to France and stuff, we, and, and then into Spain, it'll be all right, won't it? We'll be able yeah, to get Chinese. But... No, I'm just, I'd like to sit here with a coffee and a pasta. I'd like to sit here with a beer. I don't think I've had a beer on this trip yet. No, you haven't. We might be in a ski resort, but I've seen loads of people walking around with them big ski poles, you know, and ones like that. Mark, watch what you're doing with your hands. And they're walking around like that with them, aren't they? Like double handing. Like yeah, that. even though there's no snow. So I don't know what all that's about, but I might get some of them. They I, could I, probably I help you, actually. They yeah. could probably help with your balance. Get you some ski poles and some uh, sparks for your shoes. Look, look there, look, Monkler, Grenoble. <sighs> Got like mine, Don't anyone so. criticise my pronunciation or anything. At least I can say Montclair. He like, can't. I like my glasses, look. You wouldn't think how much they cost me. Go on. Your reflective. These were off from China or something for about 49p. Oh, poor Chico. He's got his Timu jacket on. There's a chihuahua just gone past with a fur coat. <laughs> that was £2 from Lockerbie up in Scotland. It wasn't was it, like? from charity shop. And yeah, the, the flipping fur coat on the chihuahua it must be a fortune. Right? Well, we have seen a. We, I, I forgot to film it actually. On, on the market, there was a chihuahua and it had a pair of jeans on and a jean jacket. And I dread to think that because we saw them little jackets mm. like Chico's, didn't we? They're 59 euros. Yeah, maybe we should spend money what we haven't got here, you know. Yeah, it sounds like a really clever idea that spend money that you haven't got. I asked for a drink and a pizza slice, and you like, sit down and be quiet. <laughs> that there's been a load of famous films filmed here as well. Mm. The Pink Panther with Peter Sellers and James Bond's... For Your Fe Eyes Only, isn't it? Yeah, and what else was that? Oh, yeah, Cliffhanger. Did, was, that, was that Rocky? Was it Rocky or Patrick Swayze? I can't remember now. Not Rocky, yeah, it's still Best Sloan. Mm. can't remember which one it was now, but yeah, all really good films, all filmed here in um, Cortina. Yeah, Cortina on sea. So we got back to the van, we had, we've had some lunch and we've decided to move on after what we've seen in the town today. I don't think it's somewhere we're going to go up, up and visit again, well, is we're it? We're not even going to go up, it's Friday night, but we're not even going to go up and have a wander around because there's no, nothing at our price range. The only thing you did find, supermarket, didn't you, called yeah. Co Conad. An apple for how much? Uh, well, about 50 pence an apple. 67 Yeah. Eight. But apart from that, there's nothing else here really. So it was only supposed to be a stopover. We were going to stop tonight, but... I have got other plans. So when we need food, you need fizzy pop. Well, well you we need fizzy water. Stream, but I'm not desperate. We, you, we need water anyway. We, we need some water. Uh, I need some bits. There's hardly anything in cupboards. There's no little or Aldi here that we no. go to, is there? No. So I found one down the road and I found a free air again as well. So we're going to head for that, I think. Get Chico in his harness. He's decided to eat his dinner now, Mark, now no. that we're going. Tippy, mate. <laughs> Good song. Yeah, so that's what we're up to now, isn't it? Yeah, that's ready. We'll get back on the road and have some more look at it. We're still in the, near the National Park, aren't we? So there's yeah. still plenty of views to come. Uh, yeah, just had a, I mean, it's all right here, but we being a car park and we be weekend tomorrow, I think it's going to be even. Well, they were banging and shutting doors this morning. Right? Yeah. And the park, they're closed, don't they? They do. One thing I didn't say about this place when I was doing a bit of research last night, it says it's lynx um, and something else. Bears, you said, bears, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's, so you've got to be careful. Uh, I took Chico out last night for the first time ever. You came with me, didn't you? Because you were a bit saw, worried. I never saw any bears. <laughs> I don't know if there were any teddy bears in. What he'd do, I don't know if there was a bear coming like. You'd probably you scream and ground, run away, wouldn't you? You've got to keep your ground, <laughs> don't you, for coming in there. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, let's get the rest of these bits and pieces away and let's get it back on the road. <laughs> Give you everything you dream, but 
I kid you not, we have been to many Lidl's in the UK and in Europe. Never have we seen one with such gorgeous it's like on a cliff top, isn't background. It? it is absolutely gorgeous. We struggled keeping his eye on the road when we come around the corner to this, didn't we? Yeah. This is absolutely amazing. No, it's a shame we can't stop here for night, Mark. Oh no, there will be signs up There is there. signs, we'll have to, we'll have to Google Translate them, but what a view. Shopping away, at least we've done all that. Yeah. I've even got your thing from Little, a magazine. Look. Oh, cheers, that'll keep me entertained all night. So you can read that in a bit. What are you making here? I'm making Friday night fakeaway, special fried rice. With eggs. The eggs are right yellow here. The eggs are right, aluminously ye uh, yellow here, aren't they? Yeah, we've done right, Little. Well, we spent 38 euros, didn't we? 38 euros, and hopefully. A free camping spot. We'll be right here, won't we, until the yeah, morning, I think. going back on us self, innit, yeah. where the other one is. We've not done it in Lidl in Italy yet. We did it, last one was in Austria, wasn't it? Yeah. We did it one night in Lidl uh, in Austria the other day, and uh, one night in that other supermarket, didn't we? So We spent money. We've been there and spent 38 euros, so... We're at my Chinese. Oh, you, you've got that goldfish stuff, haven't you? Look, this is what we keep going on about. People are still asking us where to get it from, Mark. Apparently, Tesco. Yeah, but it's always Tesco Extra. Yeah, Tesco, the big ones. Yeah, Ch Chico's trying to rip my sock off. Look. Chico, what are you doing? What are you doing, you? Do you want some? Yeah, so it's a goldfish brand, concentrated, so it's dead strong. All right, we'll sign off for tonight, won't we? Yeah, we're going to put his feet up and have this fake away, I think, aren't we? Fake away. <laughs> Good morning. Stealth camp in an Italian Lidl. Tick! What a good night we've had. Lovely and peaceful. No one come down here at all last night. So now we're going to go and repay Lidl by buying our breakfast from there. Because Lidl do fantastic fresh croissants in the morning. What are you doing, you? I look at roof after. Oh, he wants to go climbing on this wall. It's alright, isn't it? See, not, I've seen all that land it's holding back. That's a bit scary, isn't it? If you look on Apple Maps, this is like green land here, and then there's like a building there, like an old hospital. It's all, well, it's all brand new, isn't it? You yeah. can tell it's brand new. Now, the viewer wants to show you this morning. It's all, it's really misty, isn't it? It's really yeah. foggy. So I can't show you. I can show you the hills over there. Yeah. I have forecast snow, but it's not cold enough, is it? So. Snow. Get, honestly, God, it were only the other day. We were going around in t shirts, isn't it? It's not cold, though. That's a good thing. It's just yeah. not cold. It's not bad, is it? And where we're going. Reading further south, mm. uh, not that far. It's averages it next few days at 18 degrees in daytime. My head's already burnt, isn't it, from yesterday? It burnt his head yesterday. Well, can, so. we, can you see it? Mm. Let's Let me do that. Mm. Come on, I'll shout at him. Get I'm your so. cap on. He won't listen to me. But I have dry skin on my head, and believe it or not, it's already getting better, isn't it? What, really, so. Yeah, well, it's the, the sun, isn't it? It's a vitamin. Uh, C vitamin, or D. It's vitamin G what I'm getting at. G. So. <laughs> right, let's go and get these croissants. croissants. These are what you want, aren't they? That's not the ones. Where's the ones I like? Oh, you six. like them chocolate ones, don't and, you? And in Europe, as you probably know, everyone goes to Spain, you, know, right? you get these things and fiddle them out the side, don't you? You, fiddle, you do it in England now, Mark. You not just all of them. How much you... You you, so you're not... A lot of ones I've been in, you have to still pick them up with tongs, but you squeeze them then, don't you? Right, where's the ones I want? Oh, there they are. Butter croissants. You can put them in toaster. Why don't we get two and we can have them for lunch? Well, I could have them with, yeah. They look good, don't they? Yeah. You can't beat Lidl in the morning for freshness. Oh, What's this one, Mark? Bit there. Pe there's more pizzas there. What's the difference? Get some margarita. That's a plain one then, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. All the noises that look good, so let's get some. Could do with a trailer to take them all, can I? Back at Mark. Yeah, this is what Mark's been getting uh, six of these yeah. for 19 pence each, and he just puts his um, soda cents. stream syrup into it, don't you? Yeah. There's no um, what sits on these, there's no uh, 
No, refund. Yeah, they're not, not doing it. They're not life. doing it yet. They will be doing it. So, but price will go up then because it'll offset that you'll get you're paying for the bottle. Still each. 19 pence. How much is that? Back on about a pound summer, yeah. isn't it? A bottle. Yeah. So for fizzy water. It's not worth me using my gas. When we get into Spain, yeah, I don't. Well, you might be able to get it. We never thought about doing it before. So, but we still recycle the bottles anyway, don't we? Yeah. So. We've got croissant, some pizzas for dinner. So. Yes, that's us repaying. We spent 40 odd pound here last night, didn't we? 40 for euros. Shopping, Bring and we've got some euros. breakfast as well. The sun's just cracking out over the mountains, the dollar marts there. I just thought I'd show you. Should we go and get us deck chairs? We're going to sit down there. Like I know, look at that. This lot of the Crusun deck I for you as well. We spent millions to build in this place, haven't we? Yeah. What an absolute gorgeous. I, I just can't get over the view though. And behind them clouds is even more mountains, unfortunately, we yeah. just can't show you today because. Yeah. Best that, little ever. It is, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I must admit, if I were in this area again, I'd come and stop it because you were dead quiet last night, wasn't it? Yeah, just because absolutely, really, really. I mean, look at how they must have dug it out, Mark, because look at all the land that's holding back. Trees back up there. Yeah. They must know what they're doing with, with doing stuff like that, I guess. So. I bet they won't do that in England. <laughs> cost more than it yeah. we could afford to do in England, D digging it all out, wouldn't it? So, we're going to get us breakfast, have a coffee, and then we are on our way down south, like Mark said. I've picked somewhere really nice. We're going to be stopping on the outside of it and scootering in. Yeah. And it's it's not far from Venice. It's classed as the second Venice. So, stay tuned. Right, final checks done. And the sun's just coming out, so I'm just going to show you one more time before we set off the view that we've had from our uh, park up last night. As you can see, the dollar marts are just coming out over there now. Well, some more of the dollar marts, because we've had that view this morning. Just gorgeous. It's a bit of a shame to leave here, isn't it? It's nice, isn't it? Mm, but we can't see in a car park the all there. The internet's a bit dodgy, because we've got a 30 foot high wall all the way around. Us, yeah, we struggled with the internet so. last night, didn't we? We tried to watch a few things and it was just buffering yeah. all the time, so it was an early night last night. Anyways, onwards and southwards and we'll probably, we go. And we'll probably see you in Treviso, is that where we're Treviso. On sea. Ciao ragazzi. Ciao. Welcome to... Italy. Again. Whereabouts in Italy are we, Mark? We're in a place called Treviso. Treviso. Oh, this is known as the Second Venice, the Little Venice. Mm. We've just seen one of the, the canals going under the buildings. It looks well, well weird, doesn't it? it? It's like a torrent. It's isn't like it, a really? torrent, though. Venice going is underneath. south, isn't it? About an hour's miles. drive, something like I that. I think it's about 36 kilometres or something, isn't it? It's a bit like more that. than that. Yeah. Anyway, it's the home of a lot of Italian people, <laughs> and apparently. Um, tiramisu and Prosecco originated from here. Two of the most loveliest things you can have together. But we're going to go have a wander around. It's it's what we call the witch hour at the minute. It's between those dead hours so of it's half two one and three, and, Yeah, it? one till half three or something, isn't it? We don't oh, not be shut everywhere down. So. so And then come three o'clock, it'll be even again. So let's go and have a look around while it's a bit quieter. So when in Italy, we've had pizza, mm. we've had pasta. Now we're having gelato, ice cream. Black cherry, and what did you go for in the end? Oh, yes. He, he got nice. a, she'll give him more spoons with flavours on because he wanted strawberry and caramel, they didn't have either, so. But it's got like strawberry seeds in it, so it must be something like that. He got to try them until he liked them. Four euros, or? Two all euros together. each, yeah. And that's cheaper than England. I've been ripped off in England with 99s that are like £3.50. Mm. Oh, yeah, nice one. Ooh, that were a nice ice cream, wasn't it? That were really nice. The only thing actually. is, it'd be cone with that crispy. Slapped up moisture out of my mouth. But. Oh, so now you need another drink. Yeah. We've just gone past a really nice church. It's called St. Peter the Apostle. It's a cathedral, actually. And I thought it were really, really old, but I've just found out that Treviso was actually bombed and flattened near enough, and it's all being restored, yeah, hasn't II. it? Yeah, yeah. And World, World War One. So yeah. in World War One they were flattened, then World War Two they were flattened as well. Uh, so, yeah, it's all being restored, but apparently there's, there might be a crypt in there that's got the saint in it, but... You can't just walk into the cathedral. Um, there's loads of guarded tours around here, so can't get nowhere near, can we? No. On, on another note, I've Googled and found a couple of Chinese, and the one that's a bit more Japanese. Uh, what's it called? Human or something? Yeah, I didn't quite fancy that. Wonder why. 
so we're going to have a look like you can't see. There is another one and it's a takeaway, isn't it? So, yeah. And it is really cheap, guys. If it's if the menu's the same, it, it was two years old, so... Sweet and sour chicken and stuff, don't they, for about five euros, but you've probably gone up a little bit. And to be honest, he's not had one since we came out here now. It's nearly uh, three I'm, weeks. I'm actually physically wasting away. Really yeah, am. can you see it? I can. Right, panic over. Chinese opened at half past five. We've been here for 20 minutes and it never opened. We're just about to get on our scooters and go, and they've opened. I think they're running a bit late, aren't they? Yeah, a little late, yeah. So. Uh, yeah, so what have you ordered? Just plain boiled rice with salad. Tell the truth. Uh, sweet and sour chicken, special fried rice, prawn crackers, prawn toast. And I've ordered chicken with vegetable and uh, chicken and ham fried rice. So we'll see what it's like. Italian Chinese. Yeah, no, Italian Chinese. Twenty nine euros, so about twenty six pound, which is about the yeah. same as you, same as England, really. It is a bit fair. Isn't yeah. It? No. So uh, yeah, we've we'll got to get it back. Uh, give um, Chico his dinner, and then we'll see you when we're back with it and show you what it's like. This is his first Italian Chinese Chico. <laughs> yeah, look, Chico. All right. We've well, got right? far too much rice. We didn't know there'd be such big containers, did we? I know, it's mad, isn't it? That might get put away for another day, that. That's ham. It's supposed to be ham and prawn fried rice, but there's loads of veg in that you're really over happy about, aren't you? I know, I don't want <laughs> Carrots, all right. I don't want to put the other stuff in. But... This is Mark's sweet and sour. Mm. Might have worth me just eating it out of tray. Well, absolutely. I've done it now, Mark. So, uh, you've got pineapple in there. You might die if you eat that. Yeah. You know what you like. So, we're all about dish up. We've still got a full tray of rice. Just cover that over for now, Lisa. Yeah, that'll do for another day, won't it? Yeah. Bag of crackers. Now, I've just, remember, I've just remember, reminded Mark he's got prawn toast, but I don't know what that is. Mmm. Try it. Okay, that looked very good then. Burnt but... offerings, I think. Mm, got plenty of chicken, plate full of chicken. Yeah, and loads of rice. So, yeah, up to now, quality and quantity, very good. Taste test next. Mm. Even though it doesn't look very good, this prawn toast, it's well good. It's like a little parcel with mushed up prawn inside, it's really tasty. You just bit into it and said it tastes, it looks like a pork pie. Yeah. So you like it then after all that? So I'm trying, And how's your chicken? Nice. Yeah. So you, you, what do you rate it? Well, I'm good, but I'm not into it all yet, so I'll let you know in a bit. <laughs> I'm trying one of them, more. What, your pork pie? Look at that, that's what you want. It was nice, that, wasn't it? It was. Uh, Tasty. It was, uh, we both agreed that the rice tasted a bit like risotto rice, didn't it? A bit sticky a bit on like, your teeth. Yeah, a bit like that. But it was still nice tasting. Chicken, I'm eating the full plate for. I'm absolutely stuffed. <laughs> uh, and it's called Gia Gia. Now, it is the only Chinese takeaway we can find in this yeah. town, isn't it? Well, that's all the menu there. But, yeah, it's nice. It very just... cheap, guys. Very cheap. Remember, that's in euros. And we've still got a massive big tray and half of rice left, haven't we? Left we over. have, yeah. So, Breakfast sorted for you. Yeah, we're good that. I mean, it's it's ages since I've had a Chinese. Still a bag, half a bag of crackers left as well. So they can be used tomorrow, can't they? Yeah. Can't be the cracker, can you? So can you should about Chinese now, please, for at least 24 hours. Well, if I've already said in you've agreed we're going to chill out here for a few days, aren't we? Yeah. No doubt we'll be going again. Uh, don't think so. Mm. <laughs> good morning. It's Monday. We took a day off yesterday, didn't we? Well, you did some washing, didn't you? How much oh, did that cost? Yeah, I so say I took a day off. It was like that washing cost a fortune, didn't it? About eighteen euros, didn't uh, it? A bit, and the rest, yeah, it was a lot. Mm. Um, but then we didn't realise I had put on the the, uh, the dryer on cool, so that took quite a few turns to get to dry, didn't it? Mm. We're going back into Treviso we today. We had a quick look when we got here a couple of days ago, didn't we? Quick look around on the Saturday. We're dead busy, weren't it? So, yeah, so we didn't do a lot of filming because there were people everywhere. Yeah, fish oh, market thought, on this morning as well, didn't we? So. I think it'll be finished by... It finishes at lunch. Dead on lunch. That's right. it. They're packed up, done. Um, but yeah, there's a bit of a grey sky going on today, I'm afraid. It was lovely yesterday and Saturday, weren't yeah, it? Yeah, Chico's here, isn't he? Chico's in the backpack, ready for his adventure for today. Oh. Hello, Cheeks. <laughs> We've got loads to go and see today. I've mapped yeah, quite a, a few things out. a famous out. fountain, isn't there, or something? I don't yeah, apparently it spurts out wine. Well, it used to do anyway, mm. so we'll go and have a look at that. Um, and we'll tell you all about that. There's some places we want to go and try some tiramisu, don't we? Because mm -hmm. this is where it came to, from, tiramisu. I want, to, I want to find this fountain, though. All right, we'll find the fountain. I don't think you'll get free wine today, though, Mark. For those of you who has been here already, you'll know what, what I'm talking about when we say fountain, eh? <laughs> We've just stopped here on this bridge, just literally come into the town centre and look at this. 
This yeah. is why it's known as Little Venice, the heart of Venice. Mm. Water everywhere here, isn't they? Yeah, it's All absolutely buildings, everywhere. Everything, water wheel there. I was saying that's probably generating electric, that one behind us there. It's absolutely, it's, what a shame this is so grey today. Mm. But the water, even the, the it's crystal clear. You it's can clear, see to the it? bottom, can't you? It's like your bath water, isn't it? Eh? So, yeah, um, we have just got to find somewhere to put the scooters now because you shouldn't really ride them around here, no. uh, which I agree with because it's very busy and it's very tight on space. Mm. So let's go and find somewhere to put the scooters and get little Chico out. Right, we've found somewhere to put the scooters. Uh, people are always asking what we do with scooters when we come into cities. We'll lock them up like you do bikes. Yeah. Believe you me, there's that many of them out here. They're not really interested not really. in them. The old anyway, we're not that for so. oh, But you... we always make a note on the map where, on this map, take a picture where they are on the map. So at least then um, we can pinpoint of where to get. Yeah, we've got it before. Especially because it's like a maze here, and it little streets. <laughs> we've lost them many a time, haven't we? Yeah. We forgot where we've put them. So yeah, it's the best thing to do. Pinpoint them on your map. So yeah, let's go and have a look around. And for your note, it started raining. Right? It's just started spinning. Mm. So. so you like in Italy up to press, aren't you? I love it. It's old and I don't know. This is like it you, feels. <laughs> It feels really, really nice, like mm, a real fancy. chilled out place. Everyone's forever drinking coffee, it doesn't matter what time of day it is. It's, you think it's all made up, but it's not. Yeah. Everyone's coffee addicted here, I think they must be. Are we going to go find this fountain then? <sighs> yeah, well, I don't know what it is about this fountain you want to see, but I've told you, apparently, it used to pour out free wine, and that's what you're after, isn't it? The wine. Milk. What? I thought for a minute we found the fountain, but... Is this not it? No, I don't think so. This is the fountain of free faces. Fontana di Crecibi. I wonder if you can drink it. Why would you want to drink that? It might be recycling, re going round all the time. Yeah, probably, I think. Has it got different beards? Looks like it, doesn't it? One's got a short beard, the other two have got long beards. I can look at the toilet like that. It's a Fontana Del Tre Visse. Is it old then or what? Yeah, probably. See, we're right. Three faces. Yeah. Hmm. Um, well, it's not the one I'm looking for anyway, is it? So. It better be good, this bloody fountain that you're on about. You actually look about it It's supposed to be world renowned, Lisa. Right, uh, okay. So this is how clear the water is. Look at this here. Everywhere we go, you can see the bottom. It must be about a foot deep, about two foot deep. And it's everywhere, isn't it? It's water. It's fast flowing as well. And we have water wheels running, making electric, don't we? Yeah, but how, how old is this as well? Mm. This place is uh, year, hundreds and hundreds of years old. And it's still got clear water. So what happened to England? <laughs> it's different soil, isn't it? Or it polluted. It could be polluted, couldn't it? That's the thing. Very strange. Could be polluted. It's quiet. We're trying to get round because everywhere shuts at one o'clock till mm. three. So it's twenty past eleven now. Mm. We've got to watch this time, haven't we? Yeah, we've got to find that fountain as well. This stunning building behind us is the Cathedral of St Peter, and it has a crypt in there. Uh, it says a tomb filmed, tomb filled crypt. It's not easy to say that, is it? Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> Well, someone's in there that's important. Anyway, mm. if you know who it is, please put in the comments below because we've got Chico, we can't go inside and have a look. So, but yeah, it's a beautiful building. It's something yeah. you'd expect to see in Italy, really, isn't it? Yeah, it is, isn't it? And that yeah. water fountain, what we haven't seen yet. I've seen one, haven't we, them three faces, but... I remember when you found this water fountain. I'm dying to see it now. It better be mega impressive, Mark. So this is something I've wanted to do as well. We've come into this, this, the square and the part of this cafe is renowned for tiramisu. Signore and Signore. What's that mean? Is that what it's called? All oh, right. It does homemade tiramisu. Now tiramisu originates from this town, doesn't it? And apparently so does Prosecco. So Prosecco and tiramisu together. I'm having crostata, aren't I? And what was that? Uh, raspberry like flavoured tart, like raspberry jam and tart, something like that. So we were just supposed to be trying tiramisu, but he had to get something different, didn't you? So yeah, we'll give it a try. I've yeah. never had it before. Never I had it before. I is it coffee? Flavored? I think it's coffee flavored, coffee based. But you, when when you've got when you're in the town where it originates from, you've got to try it, haven't you? So Especially it when it's all made. From here, yeah. Like Chico wants these pigeons, but they're bigger than Chico. Lucky looking. Yeah, he's looking. Are you after the pigeons' cheeks? <laughs> I 
He's saying, where's my cake? Oh my goodness. I didn't know it was going to be that big. It looks nice, doesn't it's it? It's bigger than yours, one. yeah. And there's yours. Yours looks a bit poor, really, in comparison. But it is homemade here. Mm. And I got a nice big coffee as well. Quite a big head on that, actually, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> right, let's try it. Is it biscuit base? It like no, it's um, sponge. That's nice. That is really nice, yeah. Yeah. I use my fork, I don't want your germs. Oh. No, it's not for me that. No? That cold coffee. Mmm. Yeah. I've tried some that cream because I just got a sponge of biscuit. Try some more. It's just like spray cream, isn't it? That's nice. I'm supposed to have it with that because that's sweet, isn't it? Yeah. Good. Take it or leave it. Try me tart, shall I? Just need to go for a tart. <laughs> it looks like I've took it in the bathroom after I've been to the toilet. No. The talcum powder. Just try it. Who else uses talcum powder? Oh. <laughs> you haven't even tried it. Mm. Is it good? Do you want to try it? Mm. Oh. Just a tiny bit. I don't want a lot. God, you think we're asking for world? So that is another bucket list tick. Eating tiramisu where tiramisu was invented. Right, right, cheap, were it? No, I just found out it was six euro fifty, <laughs> and Mark's tart was three euros. So you did do the right thing in the end, well, didn't you? Come out and it started raining. Hasn't yeah, it, it's now? raining so, now. So we'll have to go and find that fountain, won't we? Where is this bloody fountain? I don't know. What's it called? This Italian name. Fonte. I can't remember Titi now. Or something. something like that. I don't know. We'll find it though. Right, let's get some uh, coverage. I think. <gasps> you are kidding me. Is this it? Yeah. What's it called? Is this the one you wanted to look at? <gasps> I don't. But stop it. I don't believe you. Uh, <laughs> it tastes like milk. That. I got told they did wine. How does it do wine? Because they probably put wine in it when it wants to. Good, oh it? my God, let me, re I don't believe you. You dragged me here drink for this. That water as well. You drink oh, that? Good luck for that. Nice, isn't it, that? Very nice. Want, I mean, man. Yeah, do you want your picture took with her? Mark, pack it in. Is it wine? It tastes like milk. Well, I've seen it now, I wouldn't go back to the van now. Can you shut up about it now? Mm. Next time I'll research and find out exactly what it looks like before I come and find something like that. So it used to dispense wine, didn't it, back in the day? Yeah, that's what I've already said. Not dispensing wine now, is she? So we've come back to the van because the rain has proper kicked in uh, in town and everything was shut, weren't it, Mark? Open shuts at, like we said, one o'clock and we didn't want it around till three o'clock for open three open. Still raining now, uh, so Mark's got to do a bit of editing. I'm on with tea, and we're having a kids' tea tonight. And when I say kids' tea, I mean fish fingers. Mark's after a fish finger butter, and the grown-up bit of it is we're having potato. No is it noisettes, Mark? Noisettes. <laughs> Fancy spuds, basically done in air fryer, and mushy peas. Yes, I found a can of mushy peas in the cupboard. So that was a quick look round Treviso for you. Uh, we're off in the morning and it's the weather again, really exciting. Just gets better and better this trip. I was tell them where we're going, or just keep them in suspenders. So we are going to Venice. On sea. Literally, the sea all over it, isn't there? I think it's sinking. Anyway, I hope it doesn't sink before we get there tomorrow. So you'll have to join us on the next vlog to see that. Uh, but if you've liked this one, please like, comment and subscribe and we will catch you in Venice.